Yeah, we're at the track covering the sport of kings coming up this week. We pretty much knew trainer Gareth Sabrati would win Saturday's Reggae Month trophy, and he did, but this colt was not the winner we expected. Super Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr. logs another stakes win at Florida's Gulfstream Park and edges closer to 1,000 wins in the USA. And former jockey at Cape Manus Park, Donovan Horton, as an owner, is a stakes winner at Laurel Park, teaming up with his wife, the trainer of the six-year-old gelding. It's sizzling time. Plus the usual weekly stats on Caribbean's success on the North American continent. Our opening story from Caymanus Park in Jamaica. Seven starters in Saturday's main event, the Reggae Month Trophy over five furlongs, the straight course with a purse of just under 9,000 US dollars. The heavy favorite, the impressive four horse, Desert of Malibu, shipped last year from Florida where she had one on placed effort at Tampa Bay Downs. Since arriving at Caymanus Park, the five-year-old mayor has passed the post in front on all six of her starts, although she was disqualified after her December 2 win over six and a half furlongs. Desert of Malibu in the four boxes at two to five as a top choice has informed Radish Roman in the saddle, replacing regular jockey Dane Dawkins of the ones favored in the betting to challenge. Leading trainer Jason Lacosta's two horse Madeline Sunshine is at seven to two odds. The joint second favorite with number seven Emperor of the Cats who has a 100% win record over the straight course in four races. While at 8-1 to one odds, there is Desert of Malibu's Gary Sabrati stablemate, number three sensational move, and number five Yellowstone. In the com box, Brand Rickman with a call that begins with a horrible departure from the starting gates for the big favorite. Desert of Malibu didn't start that well, reared at the start. Madeline Sunshine is running quickly toward the far side as they sort themselves out. Yellowstone is racing in the middle. Sensational move not too far away. A gift from Ben, more toward this side. Emperor of the Cats is the one racing right against the stand fence. And Desert of Malibu, the favorite, now begins to get going as they head away now toward the final quarter. Emperor of the Cats under the fence. Desert of Malibu in between horses. A gift from Ben and Yellowstone race toward the center. Sensational move is also running quickly as they've left the quarter pole and now make their way toward the furlong marker. Sensational move in the middle. Emperor of the Cats under the stand fence. Desert of Malibu has more running to do, but Sensational move has them off their legs and is opening up the gap inside the final 16th. It's Sensational move and the devastating Dane Dawkins coming away from them to win the Reggae Month trophy easily in the end by maybe five. Emperor of the Cats second. The favorite Desert of Malibu fails to recover from a lousy start and her stablemate Sensational move wins on a canter by five under ex-champion jockey Dane Dawkins. Coming off a massive 10 length win in his last outing in late January, Sensational Move gets a sixth lifetime win from 15 starts for trainer Gary Sabrati and owner Barsha. With his stablemate and hot favorite Desert of Malibu off the board, Sensational Move, a surprise winner of the Reggae Month Trophy at odds of 8 to 1, chased by the 7 to 2 bets, Emperor of the Cats and Madeline Sunshine, and stopping the clock at 59 and 2 fifths for five straight. To Florida now, where the Barbadian trainer Safi Joseph Jr.'s fabulous campaign continues, nearing 1,000 winners now in the USA and 100 stakes wins after five wins in the last five race days at Gulfstream Park, including Saturday's Royal Delta Stakes. Safi had three entries here. His best, the 92 bet on a lady racing third here on the jockey Jose Ortiz. The four-year-old filly had two stakes wins last year and in her first start for 2024, tackles a good field over a mile and 16th for a $150,000 purse. They complete a quarter in 23 and 1 at a big price. It's Leonel Reyes and Yuki to the backstretch run. They lead by a half a length. Laban moves up to be second now. Honor Delady is now third. Opus 42 and Centeno fourth at the rail. Followed three wide by an improving Amonra. Zayas has her in the clear five lengths behind as they make their way to the half mile point. Then back to Mary Quite Contrary. She's together with Soul of an Angel. This favorite is following them. Tizzy in the sky. She spots the leader about nine. Then back to the rail. Nostalgic with Magical Loot as they round the far turn. 46 and four for a pumped up half mile speed as they round the far turn. Up on the outside, Honor Delady going after Laban. These two shoulder to shoulder at the 5 16th. Amonra's driven into third. Yuki's dropped back. 
This favorite is doing no running right now. Tizzy in the sky wide and not kicking in at all. Mary Quite Contrary hasn't found her best stride yet either. Less than a quarter of a mile to come, and Honor Delady has the lead for Jose Ortiz. She's strictly the one to catch while trying to get away. Soul of an Angel cuts the corner under Paco Lopez and is clearly into second, but Honor Delady is five in front, and we only go to the first wire. Honor Delady is clear, closing good ground, but out of time. Soul of an Angel, Honor Delady wins the Royal Delta. Jose Ortiz aboard the easy winner. Sapi now with 88 stakes wins in the USA since moving from Barbados in 2011. Honor the lady who won last year's Honey Rider stakes at Gulfstream Park and the Remington Park Oaks in Oklahoma City. Adds the Royal Delta stakes to her log. An easy two-length winner as a 92 third choice. Topping the 40 to 1 bet, Soul of an Angel, closest to her at the finish. The winning time for eight and a half furlongs, 1 minute 44.74 seconds. One of two wins on the afternoon for Joseph. Safi Joseph Jr., who has two entries in next Saturday's Sandalane Barbados Gold Cup, closing in on 1,000 wins in the USA. He should achieve that by month end. He's now on 996. Let's head now to Laurel Park in Maryland, where there was a magnificent tramp for a Jamaican combination in Saturday's John B. Campbell Stakes. It was an eight-horse field for the $100,000 event over a mile and an eighth. The six-horse, it's sizzling time, tussling for fourth spot here. Owned by former jockey in Jamaica, Donovan Houghton, and trained by his wife, Valerie Smith, the six-year-old gelding was a 40-to-1 winner last time out in December. An 11-to-1 bet here. Never won a stakes race before. But here's what happens next. As they head for the far turn and run, another five back of the field. Yodali Ehu and Martini Martin and Be Better tries to pick up on the outside from last position. Has now passed a couple of runners as they head into the far turn run. Bob Marco, four furlongs out, half mile and 46.94. And the lead is two and a half lengths. So Bob Marco, still the one to catch into the far turn run. On the inside, double crown. Ain't to beer cold is right there in third position. A gap of five. It's sizzling time. It's followed by Be Better trying to prove, improve and Vance Scholar is right there too. They're both trying to gain Vance Scholar's hand. Be better have nine to close in at the top of the stretch. Bob Marco is still there from Double Crown 8 to Beer Cold and Vance Scholar's on the far outside in the meantime. It's sizzling time has an inside run. Bob Marco has dropped back and Double Crown has taken over the lead with a furlong left to go. It's sizzling time with a rousing rail run under Gene Bersenio and so Double Crown and Jerome Barbosa on the inside. It's sizzling time it's sizzling time and double crown it's sizzling time and double crown and a photo finish jockey jane brisino's vigorous hand ride gets it's sizzling time home in a tight finish fighting off the six to one bet double crown they go back a long way in the business of thoroughbred racing donovan horton and valerie smith and now as husband and wife celebrating a big win on the laurel park racing calendar against the odds the dark bay gelding it's sizzling time claiming a fine victory in his 40th career start, a special first added money win this for trainer Smith with It's Sizzling Time, who was purchased for a mere $1,000 out of a 2019 yearling sale. I'm so excited. I'm lost for words. It's my first and I'm super excited. You've been in this game a long time. And did you, so first of all, why enter in the John B. Campbell Stakes? Because we think he had a, a shot to win it. He's been training well and he's been a really good candidate, so we think, why not? It's sizzling time by a nose in the John B. Campbell Stakes, edging the more fancied double crown at the finish. The 2 to 1 second favorite be better a further five lengths back in third. The winning time for nine furlongs, 152.64. Before we go, congrats to the connections of the outstanding Mayor Atomica, announced this week as Jamaica's Horse of the Year for the second year in a row, getting the vote ahead of Mute Mile winner Rough Entry, who she clashes with, by the way, in this Saturday's Chairman's Trophy at Caymanus Park. Our usual weekly tally of wins for Caribbean racing men in the USA before we go. I've counted in the past week since our last show, 28 victories, among them two wins each in Florida for the Jamaican trainers Ron Crichton and Matthew Williams. The Guyanese trainer Randy Prasad had two wins at Aqueduct, as did the Jamaican trainer Ricardo Bailey at Mahoning Valley. And the Jamaican trainer Raymond Handel had wins at Aqueduct and Fair Grounds. There were three wins at Charlestown for the Barbadian jockey Rashawn Latchman and the Barbadian jockey Rocco Bowen had two wins at Oakland Park. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.